so mini IVF is the best way to go for PCOS. And the reason you have that uh, hypertrophic lining is that it's a it's a estrogen dominant cycle. With PCOS, your periods don't come few and far between. You don't ovulate, and so you really don't have much progesterone. It's, it's pretty much an estrogen dominant cycle. So you develop that proliferative phase of your endometrium, but it never gets set up for a proper uh, menstruation where you clear it out. Now, in terms of uh, DNC, I don't know how they did it, but we prefer to do a very mild curatage with a, a Pipel catheter. Uh, some people confuse that with a so-called scratch, but no, we do it so properly that we're giving you a brand new uterine lining and we're not destroying the stem cells, which sometimes the, the DNC can, sometimes can do that. So we would do just a five minute procedure with a Pipel. When we've studied this and looked inside with a hysteroscope after doing that, we find out that it's the most beautiful DNC you can imagine without any dilatation, without any anesthesia. And, uh, and we haven't destroyed the stem cells of the endometrial lining. Uh, so, uh, we normally get great quality embryos with PCOS using mini IVF, and we'll freeze those embryos and then transfer them in a subsequent cycle in which uh, we know that you're gonna have a good uterine lining because we will have done a mild curatage before the transfer. So uh, I think you need to go to IVF and go to mini IVF, get the embryos, freeze them before your eggs get even older, and, uh, and then the transfer uh, should be preceded a month earlier uh, by a mild curatage, which uh, some people mistakenly call it a scratch because we're using a Pipel catheter, but it's not a scratch. It's just a perfect curatage that doesn't harm the basal layer of the endometrium, uh, but gives you a brand new lining for the following month that won't be hypertrophic or estrogen dominant.